And to become beacons of your light in our communities, all this we pray to the Lord. To the Lord, Lord, hear us. Rasmi, Yamanari Kawajeri, says John, call to pray for us. Dio, Dio, We also want to use this opportunity to remind all those in leadership that they have a sacred duty to follow the demands of the people of Kenya and to follow the demands of God for honesty, for integrity. They must listen. It is not an option. Listen to the cry of goodness, of uprightness, that we need better and committed persons in leadership who believe in God and believe in God's laws and believe that stealing is a sin. People who believe that people have dignity and they cannot be wished away in their dignity. The dignity of life, the dignity of the young people, of the old, of every single person, especially the poor, that their dignity must be defended. This is what the young people are trying to be, have been trying to tell us. And here they are out here in faith saying, we desire to bring this goodness to this nation and to our church. So I want to take this advantage of this moment to thank all these young people here present and to tell them they must sustain their hope and should not lose any hope in terms of the desires we have. But that hope must be channeled in a nice way, in the way of love, in the way of service, and in the way of building our interior muscles so that we too do not also become broken 
because of money, wealth, or other things. A lot of young people in the last months have suffered. A lot of them have suffered harassment, difficulties, even some have lost their lives. We, we, we use this opportunity to send our condolences. We want to show our solidarity. All these young people are showing the love, but with action, not with hatred. We have committed, and these young people have, they are not committed to ways of hatred. They are committed to ways of love, but ways that move mountains, because love and faith does. And so we are asking all those in authority to give respect to every single life, and especially to give respect even to the young people. Perhaps they are not as experienced, but that doesn't mean they don't have a good thing to contribute to us. So let's listen to them. But above all, we want to bring them together so that what they wish we can deliver with organized communication, with an organized moments of exchange where we have conversations that lead to fantastic future. They have a future and we must give them the future they desire and that God has wanted for them.